y'all and welcome to another video with Mrs. D Math. We are going to be going over exponents in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to understand exponents, the first thing we need to do is identify the parts of an exponent. So here we have the number 7 to the third power. So the base is going to be my 7 or in this case my whole number, my big number and then my power is my exponent. So next we need to figure out what this means. So for the second step, the power or the exponent is how many times you're gonna multiply the base number times itself. So let's talk about this again here. We have seven to the third power. The base is my seven. The three is my power. So the three is telling the seven how many times to multiply. So this means seven times seven times seven. So once we've written it out, the third step is to solve by multiplying. So here again, we have our seven to the third power, which equals seven times seven times seven. So seven times seven is 49, and then 49 times seven equals 343. So 7 to the third power is equal to 343. So for the next step, let's go ahead and try a few practice problems. This really is a pretty simple concept. So first we have 2 to the fourth equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to take this base number and I'm going to multiply it however many times this exponent is. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 equals 16. Let's try another one. Now I have 0 0.6 to the second power. So that's going to be 0 0.6 times 0 0.6. So some of them are pretty simple. If it's to the second power, you're just multiplying this base number times itself. Well, 6 times 6 is 36, and then we have one, two decimal places, so my answer is going to be 0 0.36 or 36 hundredths. For my third practice problem, we have negative 2 to the third power. Because the entire negative 2 is in parentheses, that means I'm going to be multiplying negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This is important when we're solving with negatives. A negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So if you have an odd number of negatives, your answer is going to end up being negative. If you have an even number of negatives, they're going to cancel each other out and be a positive. For our fourth problem over here, we have one-fourth squared. So same as with the negative, the entire fraction is in parentheses. So that means I'm going to be multiplying one-fourth times one-fourth. Well, straight across the top, multiply straight across the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 4 is 16. And last we have 5 to the 0 power. This one is tricky because it's to the 0 power, but any number, base number, to the 0 power equals 1. And that is always always going to be true. So any number raised to the zero power just equals one. So one of the other things you're going to be asked to do is to evaluate by taking a number. In this case, let's have two times two times two, and they want you to turn it into a number written with an exponent. So in this case, two times two times two means that two is my base number and I'm multiplying it three times, so that's my exponent. So what if I have the number 
16 times 16. Well, the number that's repeated is my base, and the number of times it's repeated is my exponent. Let's try one more. So in this case, my base is the number that I see repeated, 7, and we've repeated it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, so that's 7 to the 5th power. Now you can still solve these, 2 to the 3rd power is 4 times 2, which equals 8, and 16 times 16 equals 256. So we know 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. If I multiply that times 7, I get 2401. And if I multiply that times my last 7, I actually get 16,807. So let's talk about this for just a second because the big thing with exponents is that it's going to grow quickly. If you notice, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, but if I keep multiplying by 2, those exponents means that this base or this answer is going to double every time. So it's going to get big very fast. 16 times 16, 256 very big compared to 16 times 2, which is what a lot of people want to do with an exponent. Here you notice 7 times 7 is 49, times 7 is 343, because we did this on an earlier problem. But then if you multiply that times 7, it goes to the thousands, and then if you multiply again, now we're in the ten thousands. So it gets really big really fast when you're dealing with exponents. Same thing you've learned in science, when something grows exponentially, it gets very big very fast. Let's go ahead and recap our steps here. So first, we want to identify the parts of an exponent, and that's where we have a base and a power. The power is how many times you multiply the base number by itself. And third, you want to solve by multiplying the numbers out. So thanks for watching my Understanding Exponents video. If you still need more help after you watch this a couple of times, be ready to ask me some specific questions and we'll make sure you understand the concept. Thanks for tuning in. This is Mrs. D Math signing off and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.